Yeah, damn, ladies and gentlemen, look at what we picked up today. We got the brand new. Oh, I'm sorry, you were a PS5 fan. It is what it is. We got the brand new Xbox One. Uh, this is the X. This is actually behind me. You guys can see we might have the S right over there. Uh, you know, you know how we're gonna have to plug it real quick. Time Boy TV Plus. Maybe orders coming in. Uh, we got a lot of these bad boys, and today's release was extremely difficult for them. So if you guys are interested, um, I might be selling some, maybe not. We'll see how local sales will be moving. But this has nothing to do with today's video. Just got to show you guys what we picked up today. I'm very excited to try it out. I'm not a big video game fan. I might be keeping the PS5 for myself. I'm not, not Xbox, because a lot of my homies don't be jacking around. No Xboxes. That sounded a bit weird. But, uh, I just want to show you guys exactly how it's looking. And by the way, dude, Apple today... Apple came out crazy with these new MacBooks, so we better be breaking the bank real soon. But today we're here to break down Supreme, and not no technology. Technology video coming soon, maybe. But uh, we do have Supreme Week 12, Fall Winter 2020, and your boy is super hyped. This week, I'm telling you, is one of my favorite weeks of this year in terms of what's coming out. First of all, we got PS5s, Xboxes. We got coins. If you know, you know. We cut that restock today. We caught restock today at Chicago Mids. But later this week, we got Sakai's, we got Dunks, we got Jordan 1s. It's like, what more can you ask for in life? Maybe a little bit of easy action. Unfortunately, just quick discretion. Easy 700 V3 so flowers got pushed back to January for the United States of America. So super, super delayed by another two months or so, but you know, it's typical of Adidas lately. But without further ado, we're going to break down the full drop list. We're going to go from least hype to most hype and least resale to most resale. Uh, mainly, once again, we got the aerial stuff coming down and it's by far my favorite, favorite, favorite jacket this week. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And first up, we do our do going to break down the also mighty studded colors shenanigans. I call it extreme shenanigans, mainly... Uh, sweatpants are dropping, they're dropping rayon short sleeve shirt, they're dropping a hooded sweatshirt, and they're dropping a vase. A very weird mix of articles of clothing and accessories coming and featuring the studded collars vase. I mean, the studded collars graphic in sorts is just a dog chain, a spike dog chain that, you know, some weird people might even wear on themselves, not just dogs. No judgment though, I apologize. Not weird humans, but we do got a few different items dropping. Uh, easy ass past my books. Not a vibe, not a cop, and no profit to be made unless maybe possibly on the hooded sweatshirt in the black color I could see that being a calm little like you know little calm vibe out here the washed out black I does do think it hits all right you know nothing too crazy retail on the sweatshirts expect to be around 158 US dollars around shirt around 138 US dollars the sweatpants around 128 to 138 US dollars and last but not least, we have the studded collars vase, which is expected to be retailing for just about 88 US dollars. By the way, remember when they last time dropped the vase? That shit was going like an artifact. It was literally like an artifact because it came out of the cease and desist uh, argument with a whole different artist and then ended up getting voided in court. So prices went up to like $400 for a vase and then back down to under retail. It was literally like a stock trade, which by the way, we're, we're suffering in today. But next up, we do got the velvet trousers and the velvet work jacket dropping in three different colorways of sorts. We got a checkerboard, a blue, and a brown. And I do got to say that brown just hits like an old, old, it's an older, it looks like an older Western jacket. Uh, the checkerboard is probably my favorite though out of all of this it's all cut in velvet with satin lining full zip closure with double welt patch hand pockets at lower front and zip chest pockets yes so overall they're cool calm little flex but people aren't going too crazy over these there isn't that much branding on them at all so it's going to be calm little pass retail the jacket is expected around 248 us dollars and pants are expected around 138 dollars by the way i forgot to discuss supreme is now sold Supreme is being sold to VF Core, um, and people are panicking. I gotta tell you right now, we're not gonna break you up too much because this is not what the video is about, but it's not worth the panic, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, Supreme knows what they're gonna do. If VF Corp was idiots, which they're clearly not because they're very successful, uh, they would all explode Supreme into a million different malls, quote unquote. But that's not gonna happen. They're just only gonna, only thing that's gonna happen with Supreme now is it's, they're gonna expand into more stores, more physical stores, and do better collaborations and more high end stuff because they're gonna have a better outreach. That's it. It's not worth panicking over. But next up, we do got the garage beanie i think yeah it's a garage beanie don't know why it's entitled garage uh it says w 20 w-50 still don't understand that meaning uh but we do got a few different colors coming down it's very much of a winter vibe and it really does not feel like winter at the moment it feels like a calm spring day right now except the falls are the leaves are falling uh, but the best color to focus on out of all the hoodies is quote-unquote the Gucci colorway, which you don't see Supreme do too much of, which is the white, green, and red. 
Um, retail on this is expected to be around 38 US dollars, and I see it going probably maybe like 50 to 60 bucks, but nothing too crazy. Then we go to another hat, which is a two tone cannabis six panel. And this one's dropping in a few different colors. We've got a washed out red, a black, a goldish, a goldish brown, a little bit of some Travis Scott vibes, a uh, lime green, and a purple. Now, overall, the design is on point. I'm not a huge fan of like washed out caps, but I don't really wear hats, so it's like not really my type of not my type of accessory, uh, but you got embroidered logos basically on it with the classic logo, which you cannot go wrong with. So overall, a good personal cop, but resale wise, I see max maybe 20 to $15 profit, not much more than that. Uh, then we go into the multi-color logo long sleeve chop top, dropping in three different colorways, a black, a white, and a goldish dirty mustard, a little, like, a little more of like a gold aspect, uh, but pretty much all you got is Supreme branding on the chest and on the left sleeve. A uh, multicolored font, font. Uh, it's just a weird long sleeve. I don't know where they got this inspiration from, but uh, it, it doesn't stand out to me at all. But retail on it is expected to be around 78 US dollars. Could be all the way up to 88 bucks as well. Resale wise, it's not going to be anything, so don't bother for it unless it's for the body. Now, one of my favorite hats are dropping this entire season so far is the Ripple Quarter Corduroy Small Six Panel. Uh, there's a few different colorways. We've got a gold, a, a salmon, like orange, a navy, a white, a lavender, and a black. Resale wise, I'd focus on the lavender. I feel like that could appeal to the lot of the female audience out there. The black one's a great subtle cop. The red on white uh, appeals to all the hype beasts out there. All the three colorways are eh, not bad. Uh, but you know, those three colors, I feel like there's a niche market for every single one of them. And resale wise, I can see probably $15 or $20 profits per cat, but that's a quick sell. I wouldn't bother holding this hat at all. Now, one of the collaborate, I mean, the main collaboration I should say we have this week is with Timberland, which is kind of a play on the whole news that came out this Monday. Uh, which is a VF Court does own Timberland. So that's I think that's why they're doing the collaboration this week. Uh, it's a big logo six inch premium waterproof boot. And as per usual, as of late, Supreme Timberland is nothing special. It's a little bit more on the wax side of things, if I, if I would have to say so myself. Three different colorways, a very light teal, a typical wheat boot, and then a black on black boot. Um, I don't know. It's it's definitely not my style. I mean, black boots, you can't go wrong with them. Wheat boot, you can never go wrong with them, especially out here. Uh, but the white blue boot, the Tiffany blue, I should say, it, it's cool. It's uh, I feel like you have to have the proper fit with these as well, though. It's just, it's not for the everyday wear. Uh, Supreme burning is basically upside down and just wrapped around the shoe. Very, very lazy. Also kind of doesn't make sense to me, but I do see them selling out over time. Uh, and it, recently, Timberlands, I mean, like, of course, when winter comes around, they slowly go up. So it's not a bad investment, but it's a very, very long-term investment. And retail, I see probably being around 180 to 190 bucks. It is going to be pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, next up, we do go on to the aerial pieces. And they're absolutely my favorite pieces to drop out of the entire lookbook. This entire aerial collection is on point. New York City, Supreme Box logo, and it's flying in the air. You cannot go wrong. You cannot ask for more. First up, we got the Aerial Crew Neck, which is my least favorite piece, though, out of the entire Aerial quote unquote collection. It's heavyweight cotton cross grain fleece, and it's, uh, it's very, it's, this one's a bit too lazy, in my opinion. It's just the graphic screen printed on, and that's about it. Uh, but I do still do see it selling out. However, Risa wise, it just will not be there. You got a few different colorways. I'd mainly focus on black, natural, and navy. I think those are the top three colorways. Navy, though, kind of does hit hard. I do like how the red box logo plays on the navy background, so I can see that flowing pretty, pretty well. Graphic doesn't look too good on natural, but natural is just always my favorite colorway. Personally, I probably won't be copying any of them just because hoodies and crewneck crewnecks do not do well at all from Supreme unless they're possibly a box logo and those two would just drop over time. Uh, so it's it's a good little quick lunch money flip at best, but I only focus on smalls and XL sizes. Then we go on to my favorite piece, the Harrington jacket and the pants. I think this full fit, it looks crazy. But the jacket is coming out retail wise, it's expected to be around 368 US dollars. Yes, you heard that right. Retails aren't out by anyone else, but a uh, source tells me it'll be around 368 US dollars, $400 with tax. You got a red box logo on front and back. And this is the main, if you're going debating on going for anything this week, this is number one John for the week. Then the pants are expected to retail for around 178 US dollars. I just love it though. It's it screams New York before COVID, I should say. This is once again a fantastic photo. It is from their pro uh, they had a promo video and they basically just took a picture of it and just embossed it fully on the jacket. Smalls and XLs, best sizes to focus on for the jacket. As for the pants, it kind of varies, but 30, size 30 tends to be good, and size 38. They dropped 30, 32, 34, 36. 
Actually, I don't know if they drop 38, but typically the biggest size and the small size is the most rare. So you have least competition on the aftermarket. Uh, retail on the pants, once again, 178. Resale wise on the pants, I get seen probably going through around 300 to 280 bucks. People are big fans of pants. All over print pants do go hard. Now, as for the jacket, first of all, Instagram stock is going to be stupid limited. So good luck. I wish you the best. Uh, as for the jacket, I could see probably going for like $600 to $700 at first. Unfortunately, I see prices getting down on day of release, going up over the weekend, then back down once online orders come in. But it is going to be a limited jacket till the all over print items don't are heavy stock at all. Uh, now, the last piece we do have from the Aerial Collection is a skateboard, and this is one for the books. Skateboards this season have been doing wild numbers, and that's because also Supreme has been doing it very, very well. Supreme Smurfs, fire. Uh, Digi Camo, fire. Now we have this aerial deck, and it's going to be limited. Only one color rate dropping out of all the decks. Um, one, I mean, one color dropping out of the entire print. Uh, retail is expected to be around 50 to 60 US dollars, and resale gets you probably going for around 150 to eventually over 200 dollars. They've all been appreciating over time, so if you cop a deck, I'd recommend holding it and seeing how it does over time. Uh, but absolutely a wonderful piece. Uh, then we go on to the fishable. Interesting was rumored to come out a minute back and it is actually going to be two gallon glass fishbowl with embossed logo I'm gonna have to get a goldfish tattoo on my supreme box logo and let him rock like that put him in the background over there uh, Next to the statues that we you know by the way, did you see a new edition? We got my man's flipping you guys off in a non non demeaning way uh, But fishbowl I see retailing for around 60 to 40 us dollars between that area and I see resale probably going for around 100 bucks uh, this is one of those unique accessories that I do see a lot of people just going like a little bit crazy over just because it's a fishbowl and unexpected. And this is what Supreme is all about. The unexpected accessories is what people love. That's what got me into it. Uh, but I definitely see being a good cop. Then the folding number eight Oppenel folding knife dropping into different colorways. Now this knife is fire. It's not a Swiss Army knife like they usually do it with. Uh, but stainless steel 3.28 inch folding blade absolutely looking beautiful the handles on point they haven't dropped like a bigger blade in a minute they typically stick to like the samurai knives and smaller knives like that but this bigger knife is one for the bucks for sure retail i can see probably being around 58 us bucks and resell probably over a hundred dollars easy so without a doubt we got the deck cop knife cop fishbowl cop jacket cop pants cop uh, and that's like, if you can get any more than those five items, you're an ultimate chef. You're too good for me. You're too good for me. Uh, and I don't know what else to recommend because after that, I do think it's pretty calm. And the rest of it is personal pieces. But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. Premium Group is restocking this Wednesday at 11, I don't know, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, to get you guys ready before all these releases. If you guys want to find out more info about what this group entails, make sure to check out our Instagram at TimeboyTV+. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.